This is Afghanistan's first presidential election for five years. And whether dropping slogans from the sky or pitching propaganda on the street, more than 30 candidates are doing anything they can to draw attention and votes. Around Kabul, signs of the election are everywhere. Honorable citizens can fulfill their religious and national duties by voting. President Hamid Karzai remains the favorite on Thursday, despite widespread criticism that his regime is corrupt and shored up by warlords. But supporters defend Karzai's achievements. In 2001, when President Karzai came to power, at that time I started my business. I have not faced any problems from a business point of view. At this rally for Karzai's closest challenger, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, others want change. The promises that Karzai made to us, he did not fulfill. That's why we want to vote for Dr. Abdullah. The Taliban have warned Afghans to boycott the election. They threatened to cut off the most visible symbol of democracy, the purple finger. The threat may seem more remote in the capital, but many fear it will hurt voter turnout in rural areas. Security has been tight, but apparently not tight enough. Just five days ahead of the election, a suicide bomber struck outside the gates of the International Coalition headquarters, killing seven people. We've said all along that there would be, there would always be residual risk, and this is one example of that residual risk. And in the days leading up to the election, they bombed a convoy on the outskirts of the capital, killing eight people. Once again, the Taliban had violently inserted itself into the campaign, center stage. Unfortunately, the security situation is getting worse, uh, especially in the provinces like Elman on south, and especially in capital, and Kabul. The evidence of the American-led international forces is everywhere around Kabul. Officials do much to emphasize the partnership of Afghan and Western militaries, but they do things differently. Poverty, security, how to deal with foreign armies and interfering neighbors, these will help decide the election. Are you optimistic or pessimistic about the next five years in Afghanistan? Do you of think course. it's going to get better or worse? Of course, it depends on the president who is coming. You know, we love the change, you know, we need change. But with fears over intimidation, ballot rigging and turnout, the identity of the victor is perhaps not so much the issue as whether any candidate can overcome a daunting number of obstacles in a hard country to rule. They have promised us, we will do this for you, we will bring security, we will serve you. We rely on God for what will happen.